What up, YouTube? Mandy Hops here. How are you doing? So, <clears throat> this is so crazy. If you guys have Netflix, uh, you have to check out this documentary. You guys know I'm like really big into documentaries. But it's called Don't F with Cats. Um, and it's actually a series. I've only gotten through the first series. And I was so like, whoa, like I'm going to have to make a video about this right now. Because I'm in my feels. So, it's about this weirdo dude who posts a video to the internet. He takes two little kittens and he puts them like in a vacuum sealed bag. While now this is Christmas. Na -na 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 -na, plays in the background. Totally creepy. And <clears throat> sorry. Sucks the air out of the bag and like suffocates little kittens. And posts it to Facebook, right? Also, then he takes, like, the dead little, like, hard little kitten bodies and starts playing with them. Anonymous, anonymously. So, it starts out, and this is another thing that got me. It starts out with this chick who lives in Vegas, right? Cool. She's, like, responsible for, like, most of the stuff in gaming, right? And uh, she sees this video, and she's like, oh, hell no. And her and all these animal activists get really upset. And I can understand that. And then wanting to catch this guy. But there's a double-edged sword and point to this, which I'll get on to later on. Which is really hits home because I'm a YouTuber. And you guys, um, believe it or not, I do have like some for real serious like stalkers. Uh people that are like not all there. Um and like it really made me look at it in another light. And all the things that you can do with technology, right? And you don't always know who's on the other side of the computer. So, like, anyway. So, this guy does this to these cats. So, these people make a forum on Facebook uh, and decide they're going to catch this cat killer. Now, these people spend, like, am I totally think that's disgusting? This guy should be, like, punished to the nines? Absolutely. Uh, am I going to spend 16 hours a day? like googling everything that I see to catch him no I mean I, 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 I all right so I digress so these people make a group and they send hours and hours and hours a day they take hundreds of like frame pics of his video these people are so smart and, and, and okay so we all know like the CIA like and like NSA and everybody they're the ones who created all this shit social media Instagram Throwback Thursday, so they could see how like you like digress, like progress, like growing up, so they could use facial recognition, uh, Fitbit. Everybody has a unique heartbeat, just like how they have unique fingerprints. So uh, that's another way. Like, dude, Big Brother all day. But I'm not worried about the government because I'm not like out in these streets, you know, like I used to. Uh, what I am worried about is like this is how crazy people. So what they do is they have this little video of this guy on his bed, okay? He's got one of those creepy wolf mattresses. Shout out molasses if you're out there, you know about the wolf thing. Um, and then he uh, has a pack of marble lights and they break it down. So people from all over the country realize, hey, uh, there's only one person that makes this kind of mattress and it's sold here. They zoom in on the cigarette pack. And these are just regular people like me and you that spend 16 hours a day like, trying to catch this dude that suffocated these cats. And it's crazy to think how in-depth it gets. Oh, it says Surgeon General on the cigarette packs, and it has a white filter. So we know that um, that's in the United States. Or uh, the vacuum, they narrowed it down to like a certain Bissell with size, shape, and color by going into another. I mean, these people get down in the nitty-gritty. They tracked this dude all the way to Toronto, Canada, by like a Google Maps photo because there was a gas station in the background called Petro something. They're like, well, how many of those are there? And then and they found him in another interview where he mentioned a city. So they're like, well, there's six of these gas stations in here. Like, dude, these people, like, are on it, on it. And then this dude is a sicko. Um, like, he taped a cat to, like, a mop and, like, dipped it in water. He lit a cat on fire. It does, like, start to show the parts of the videos, but it doesn't, like, show the graphicness. But I just want to show you the scariness of, like, if these people on the other side of the, like, camera want to stalk you down, they'll stalk you down. 
you never really know who you're talking to. Like you really don't have to tell them anything. Uh, yeah, it, it, it's pretty crazy. Um, and it's definitely enlightening to do more. And this documentary is crazy. Check it out on Netflix. Don't F with cats. Um, yeah, dude, I, I, <laughs> uh, I don't really know what else to say. Um, I have messed up in some of my videos and I've showed more than I should have. I'm not really scared for my life. I'm, I'm, I'm pretty much a badass and, uh, I'm surrounded by like high tech security all the time, but it does, uh, it does make me wonder. And, uh, Dude, people alert me to shit every day that there's like these weirdos out there doing. Plus, not to mention this weirdo out there that's killing the cats. He's like obsessed with serial killers. I studied all that stuff in college and like how their mentality works. And I don't know, it's just getting juicier. I'm only on episode one. I don't want to ruin it for you. But check out Don't Have With Cats. But it makes you think a lot for all of us out there. I know if you're watching me, you're on the computer all the time. I'm on the computer all the time. Uh, our lives are out there. So just keep that in mind, guys. All right, love you. Thank you.